Hey guys, hope you're doing all right. This video is about Ozone 7 Elements. What I wanted to point out in this is the fact that Ozone 7 Elements does what I think it's going to, for me, what it would do for a lot of people is that not all of us are necessarily these uh, wizards of mastering. It's a very extensive, very detailed process that I think takes a lot of years, a lot of honing in on a lot of tricks and a lot of understanding of the music and understanding of the dynamics that the artist is trying to reach what kind of appropriate ways to sort all of that out. So, presets as sonic inspiration. I like how they put this inside of the user manual. The Ozone 7 Elements features a preset manager that allows you to quickly and easily find the right preset to help you polish up your final master. Our hope is not that you'll necessarily set it and forget it, but you'll listen through a variety of sonic options, choose one that adapts well to your audio and seems to bring out the most musical characteristics, and then tweak that to taste. All right, very eloquently put. I think it, it makes a lot of sense that um, that this kind of product was created because it, it took the extensive tools they have at Isotope's uh, disposal, kind of put them down to the Elements version of Ozone 7, and gives you a little bit of, bit of access into some presets that put things into a lot of uh, kind of easy to uh, plug in and see how it applies to your sound. So let's go through and see how it works out with this uh, kind of trailer sound um, for a project back in the day that I did. Hasn't been mastered, some of the dynamics, some of the volume is a little bit off. I mean, I think it's some automation, some careful automation going through and making that really fine-tuned, detailed mastering process can do it some some good. But a lot of the time, you don't necessarily need to take your stuff over, over to Warner Brothers and have a super professional mastering job done because it may just not be in the budget. Uh, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Hopefully we have the access to do that all the time, but sometimes they just, you work with a director and they say, well, the budget's pretty small, uh, and we actually like what you've given here, and uh, it may not need all that much further to go. So as long as you, the artist, are happy with what's coming out on your end, and the director's happy, then chances are the audience is going to be happy too. So, but without any further ado, let's look at Ozone 7 Elements, and I'll show you kind of what's going on here. It's kind of an action-y track. The preset is on increased presence. Bypassed. Okay, it's an interesting preset. Let's go over to some. Now, what you'll find within the maximizer is you're going to need to probably adjust the threshold a little bit. It's very simple. The whole layout is very simple. There's not a whole ton of stuff going on here. So for those of us who just want something quick to kind of give it a, a little bit of extra uh, either clarity or a little bit more presence or punch, I think this works out really well. And Isotope deals on these are pretty amazing a lot of the time. I think, I think I just picked this up for 29 bucks or something like that. Uh, let's go through again and try a different preset. There are some of these down here that from the Greg Calby mastering presets that seem to be pretty cool. Let's uh, start that up again and get some bypass AB comparison. Let's go through and try a few of these other ones. The quick limiting one as an example of one that you probably don't want to, I mean, depends on the mix itself, but for this one, I wouldn't keep it. You can hear that some of these just simply don't apply the right way. And which is cool about it because they've kind of given you these basic presets that you can do a few minor tweaks within the dynamics and EQ and the threshold, of course, and then that's going to make a big difference. But for example, this quick limiting, I found this one was really squashing it. So it starts out with a threshold really low there, and so that obviously applies for a different application, but this is uh, one of those examples of where they just have something to have you try out, see if it works out for the sound, and then go from there. 
So let's try that two master as one last one. I'm not going to go into all of these because there's just so many of these and obviously so many different types of, of audio projects you, you could use this for. So that's why I'm not really setting out to say, hey, this is a mastering tutorial uh, because there's just such extensive uh, extensive skill sets that, that go into that. Uh, there, uh, there's really great videos from the people that make uh, FabFilter Pro-Q that I started watching to kind of get into mastering a little bit. And I still do not claim to have any, you know, any sense of like, oh, professional mastering skills. I'm a musician first, definitely. Then the engineering stuff came next. So, and I found that most musicians I know are a little bit the same way. And some of those are on the opposite end. But if you are a musician, you say, well, I really don't want to have to shell out hundreds of dollars every time I have something that I just need to get finished or at least somewhat listenable and somewhat you know ready to go. Uh, Ozone cell, seven elements might be an actual uh, pretty quick solution for you. But let's try this other preset here. There's also the imager that they make that spreads things out a little bit. This doesn't come with anything to widen it out, except they do have, I believe, one further in here that kind of widens the stereo field. Uh, let's see where I found it before. I may or may not find it again. Um, things like simple glue kind of add a lot of presence. At least it seemed that way to me. I mean, it, you kind of have to go through and get familiar with them and see how they actually... Okay, high detail wide was the one I was talking about. Let's try that. <laughs> Okay, to summarize, Ozone 7 Elements is a way to get some quick kind of just get the job done mastering and then you can kind of go through and, and fix a little bit of details here and there. It's not designed for really extensive in-depth mastering. So if you're working on a very expensive project, you'll want to look into getting enough funding to have a more detailed mastering job done. And not all of us are that great at mastering. I know plenty of people that do professional work that would never touch their own mastering project. So I wouldn't necessarily force my way into, into mastering my own work because first of all, I don't claim to be that good at it. Second of all, I think that if you have a fresh set of ears from an outside party, you're probably going to be able to address a few audio issues that just translate better in a better final project. There was a film I did called Mech Human Trials. It's on, you can see it on YouTube. It's got something around 10 million views or close to it that was mixed uh, and mastered at Warner Brothers because of that same exact reason. It was meant to go big and look really great and be high quality cinematic potential and all that sort of good stuff. So I didn't, you know, none of us wanted to say, hey, we're going to do it mastered. We're going to have it done by the pros. And so you send that to them. Um, and, but that was within the budget. That was within the whole scope of that project. However, if you're doing something like some of the stuff I've been doing recently, like apps and things like that, Ozone 7 Elements may be a really great way to separate it from just complete lack of mastering to having kind of a little bit of extra juice added to it. And that's about as extensive as I'll go into explaining that other than it's definitely improved on the sound, a little more, uh, more of a rich sound, but you'll want to tweak it and make sure that it doesn't have anything that's squashing it. So, all right, hopefully you found that useful. Once again, Isotope, these guys make awesome products. Ozone 7 Elements, this is just absolutely great. It's, it's very easy to use, very intuitive. So yeah, until next time, this is Nick Borrego. Thanks again for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed this Ozone 7 Elements inside look. 
uh, hope that your projects are awesome. Uh, let me know if you have any uh, thoughts on this in the comments. Give us a like or subscribe, and I guess I'll catch you next time. Be excellent to each other.